What's good and what's up guys, let's do Jet here, some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we began the Forest Temple after um, meeting with the Hero Shade, who taught us to uh, head and scale the ending blow. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and head off towards the mid-boss, now that we have four monkeys with us. So we're going to do just that. So, it was important for us to go get those monkeys. Don't worry, you'll see why well, in a second, even if you... I can speak English. Uh, if you were paying attention though, you probably know why it was important to get them. But for now, let's just go ahead and do stuff. So if we run forward, we'll see. Whoosh. One. Two. Three. Four. Now we can play the ultimate game of swinging across the monkeys. So let's do this. There we go. I like how the rope just sways and there's like, okay, whatever. Alright, so I think up here has like, yeah, up here has these things that have hearts in it. Alright, so let's go ahead and go take on the mid-boss. Meet the boss of the monkeys. I believe his name is Oku. It's uh oh okay, I think it is. Uh the point like how you fight him. Whoop. Did that? There we go. When he throws his boomerang, he's gonna jump around for a bit. When he throws his boomerang around, that's when you wanna hit his pillar to, uh, to uh, knock him unconscious. Or not knock him unconscious, but like throw him off balance. Uh then the boomerang come back, hit him and knock him off. So you wanna kinda like keep it leaving. There you go. Like that. Hit him. He's actually fairly easy. Um, he's not the boss, though, obviously. The dungeon. So there you go. Several jump attacks, and he's done. By the way, yes, that looks like one of the uh, bugs we had to kill to get the light sp or the tears of light. I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please take it with you. Use it to your uh, use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessings go with you. If you focus power when uh, your boomerang or in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, uh, aiding you in unforeseen ways. And we get the Gus Boomerang. That's the only time in the game she ever speaks. Well, yeah, something cool about this is it could um, lock on to five targets. What do you want, Minda? I bet even the monkeys should be satisfied now. Okay, let's uh, continue combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. Sounds good to me. So what we could do here is to open the door, we get the Boomerang out. Lock on R to do that. So we gotta do it again. The door barely opens the first time. Barely opens the second time. And if we do it one more time... It fully opens! Yay! Alright, let's go ahead and leave. Now you'll see when running up ahead that the monkeys are no longer there. How do we get back? We have this whole entire contraption over here. Uh, this is the cool uh, mechanic that I really like in this uh, dungeon, where you actually get to use uh, 
the Gale Boomerang to move around through puzzles and stuff. Also, if you kill him fast enough. Yeah! I'm a uh, reviewer, like, whenever I see one, I'd be like, like, gotta pick it up. There we go, free that monkey. Bye, monkey. What do you want? Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should, um, save them all and see what you get out or get for it. Alright, we can try that. So if we run forward, we'll see that these bridges are not aligned, however. We gotta wait for the wind to stop blowing. Die. Alright, get right across quickly. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Anyways, if we go through here. This is where we got our second piece of heart. So let's go ahead, uh, real quick, and head back into the room where we got the second monkey. You know, third third monkey. This room with the uh, tile worms. Because you got some stuff to grab real quick. Just one. If you do this, you could actually do it just right where they fall into the water. If they fall into the water, they just basically die right away. You have to see like that. And if we just blow all the torches out. You don't blow all of them out. It's just one specific torch you gotta blow up. So there we go. this. And if we open this chest right here, we get the second piece of heart in the dungeon. So now we have three, and we uh, we don't have any more pieces of heart to worry about in this dungeon. So let's go ahead and let's head back to the main room. We got nothing else to worry about in here. Ow. Let's try to scratch my ear and then go back to the controller real quick. Because you guys want to know that I had to scratch my ear. Anyways, uh, we got these uh, Deku Serpents. I'm just gonna run past them. They're not too big of a deal. So run forward. And now you'll see that the monkeys are here to give you access. We, If you didn't grab that piece of heart, you'll have to come back here with a later item to get it. So, go ahead and grab that now. Uh, real quick though, if we pull out the Gale Boomerang, and we lock onto that right there. First of all, we will break a uh, base. But if we open this up, we get. We get the compass. So there you go. That'll be really um, useful. That'll be really helpful here soon. Well, if it isn't something useful, as long as you have that, you should be able to uh, find where the captive monkeys are, right? Indeed. If we look at the map, and we go over here, we'll see there's three monkeys left to find, and there's three chests left. Not oh, four. That one just has rupees in it. And that's where the boss is. Alright, so let's go this way. We. I like rolling at the end of it. So we have a chest in here to pick up, as the map tells us, put that way. And that's actually in a very important chest, because if we saw it. We actually saw it earlier. I pointed it out in the last episode. So we go over here. And. You gotta follow the Z des um, design on the floor. If you, you can either go starting from there or starting from here. Lock on. There you go. So if we go ahead and run forward, we will open the chest to see. We get the big key. Now we have access to the boss's lair. I love the way the big, the, the boss key chest look in this game. It's such a cool design. Alright, so let's go ahead. We can break this if we want. Anyways, if we jump across. And we head into here. Now we just have those monkeys to save. We don't have to worry about getting the big key, so... Yay! Hey, look, there's a monkey. Follow the monkey. See where it leads us. Leads us to victory and honor and pop tarts. Alright. <laughs> so what we can do here is the monkey will follow us wherever we go, I think. We can go forward into that room. 
But, oh wow, he's still dead. Can I kill him? No. Wait. If I go back a little bit. Alright then. Alright, get you off that. There's two monkeys uh, to the left and right, so we're gonna go take care of them. I'll come back to you, monkey. I promise. So if we head in here real quick. Oh, you're gonna follow us. Okay. Or not. So we got uh, some webs and uh, skull tools to fight. Die. Fine. Be like that. Jerk. Die. There we go. Is there another one in here? Yeah. We're not gonna worry about him though. We are monkey down there. We pulled the lantern and burned this web uh, specifically. Hey, monkey. Yeah! Monkey's eyes look so weird. And we got some, uh, skull tools and stuff down there. If we time it just right, we could jump on the... There we go. Jump on the vine, it's completely ignore him. Not the brag or anything, but I'd never miss that jump. <laughs> that was so fun if I actually missed for the first time there. Anyways, we got two monkeys left. So all we gotta do now is... Hey, monkey. Now this guy run straight ahead. Oh, wait. All right, so we can't get that monkey quite yet. We need a key. All right. Now if we just run into this room here. Here's where all the monkeys are gathering. Whoop. So we only need two more monkeys to go. I guess in order for us to check out the, uh, or check the temple out completely, we need to help the monkeys. Ah, well, let's help the rest of them. And we might as well, I mean, we're this close. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. So we're gonna do this. And we're going to go ahead and blow this. Hey, you! Jerk. Shoot you. Shoot you. God, wish it was like Skyrim Sword, where if you uh, shake up on the uh, shake up on the game controller, you go faster. But no, we just gotta go up very slowly. There's a book album up there. We'll worry about him in a moment. Climb, 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 climb. Drop. Die. So it seems to bridge us out. Hi, Blaze. That book album up there. Making all your weird sounds and stuff. So climbing on up. Let's see. Ending blow. Dead. All right, so let's go in this room real quick. Now this was actually pretty uh, interesting. Hey. Then. If you uh, dot these guys out and they grab onto you, if you spin attack, then you can knock them out. I was trying to spin attack, but they didn't want to work. Anyways, if we get the Gale Boomerang, and actually, I'll just shoot it once. Bring the uh, bomb away to me. Throw it at the uh, Deku Like Like. And there we go. Alright, so if we run across here, we could get... There's the small key we need to go get that last monkey. So for now, we'll just go ahead jump across. And now we have to do something twice. First, we gotta get that, that bombling and shoot at that rock. There we go. The music playing means there's an enemy in front of me. I never would've guessed. Alright, now comes the fun part. Climbing up here. And now we have a friend. Hello, friend. Kill you real quick. Kill you. Alright, come here. Alright, now we gotta grab you. Alright. Throw! There we go. Monkey is free. 
Now we only have one more monkey to save, and then we can head off to the boss door. Sweet. Alright, so go ahead and drop down. I said drop down. There we go. That. And then... That. Alright, so we need to head back, grab that final monkey. Then we can head off to the boss. As of our said before. What was I... So that's really Kermit. I don't know what I was supposed to be, but... That. Alright. And now, to unlock the door. Oh yeah, I remember how to get this one too. This book is actually pretty cool. I like how to get him. There's how it works in here, so... Build that if you want. No way you need to worry about is this one right here. So I'm just gonna run past, so I don't care. I think we have... Yeah, we have Waltulas and Skulltula. Attack from behind. Any blow. Nice. Shoot. Shoot. Link is like the bomb diggity. I don't care about that green rupee. But I want to, I want to grab it, but I don't care at the same time. <laughs> now to get this monkey to center free, it's actually really cool. You gotta use the Gale Boomerang. Who would have guessed? Whoops, I'm shooting at that twice. There we go. And there we go, all the monkeys are free. So now all that's left besides getting past this uh, Deku Serpent. Yeah. I think this has 20. Yeah, 20 rupees. That's my text ringtone. Alright, jumping off and heading back. Alright, so now all we gotta do is. Oh. Going back inside this room. Do I have an empty bottle? I do have an empty bottle. And here we go. All the monkeys are there. Alright. Uh, you can actually- here, let me see if I can show this off real quick. Pull your sword. Jump- oh, dang it, I, I didn't show it off. But if you throw your, uh, Gale Boomerang and jump attack, sometimes, uh, as it's coming back, you can actually fly forward, so... Jump! And- yeah! There we go. So there's the boss door, around here is a stray fairy. Yep, there it is. And there we go. Got me a fairy in a bottle. Nice. Oops, that's not where I want to go. I wanted to go here. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take on the boss. Violet Parasite, Diababa. Alright, so here comes the boss of the forest temple. What we gotta do is lock onto the bomb links, uh, shoot them at the giant Diababa thingy, and out goes. Gotta do the same for the other one. Whoops, that's not gonna end well. Whoop, whoop! Ah, back. 
up. You. There we go. And there we go. Boss is complete. Easiest boss ever. Or it was it. Here, oh god, hello. Here's the true boss. This is the actual dive ball right here. Whoa. So you really don't have any way to attack it. If I was fast enough, I could use that bomb lane. Whoop. But we really have no way of fighting it. Wait, what's that? Hey, it's the boss that we saved earlier. What do you got, sir? Bomb links. Nice. So this this part can be kind of annoying. Lock on to him, and then we lock on to the big head. Fire. There we go. And now we attack his eye if you hit enough times. There we go. If you do it fast enough, you can actually uh, finish the boss in uh, two rounds. Oh god, it's going to spray out accident now. Oh, jump out of Whoa. Alright, where are you at, sir? Whoa. There he is. Let that head do something. Whoa. That's not what we'll do. Alright, so, whoop. And we lock on to that head. Boom! Alright, so can we face this boss fight right here, right now? There we go! Done! And that is Diababa. <laughs> well done. That's what I was looking for. That's a huge shadow. That's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what the spirit said about how you have to match the power to King of Shadows? Could that really be so easy? Is this all uh, there is to it? There's a total of three fused uh, shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know what or exactly what few shadows are, well maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. I guess you better do your best to find them, huh? <laughs> so let's not waste any more time here when we could when we could be looking for the other two. I'll get you out of here. You pick up that heart container that fell out of that thing. Well, yeah, that was Diababa in a nutshell. Here's our first heart container of the game. And, uh, what a rather uh, easy boss for a not too difficult dungeon. However, don't expect it to be that easy. Alright, so, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to go ahead. Uh, and head off to find the uh, other two feud shadows. So it's going to talk to Midna. Want to go outside? Are you all done here? Yes. I will see you all next time.